Hello, Facebook trying to world. Some, trying to play you some music. We feel like we need to come out to music that has to do with our topic. Don't worry, we won't <laughs> play it the whole time. <laughs> well, we get a word. We're trying to get a word in. Can you fast forward them? Yeah. Okay, so Justin Timberlake is not joining us today. <laughs> oh my God, can you imagine? Oh my God. One day. One day. That would be fantastic. That JT wants to join us for, not today. So week four. Week four. Oh my God, are you guys excited about our features here? I don't know if you guys watched last week, but thank you guys for watching. We always want you guys to get on and comment and tell us. Mm -hmm. Good morning, afternoon, whatever you guys. Ask questions. Um, tell us what you like and what you need to know mm -hmm. about because we have definitely in the last however many years learned a lot about DIY hacking Absolutely. and nailing your life. <laughs> and we and so just realize that we're always in a different spot every time we do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've literally been in a different spot. But we're spot. not in a bathroom today. We're not in a bathroom today. We're in a, looks like a little cubby. Isn't it cute? You'll see, guys. you'll see more soon. <laughs> um, all right, so we are here in Misty's bonus room. So, How exciting is that? Um, all right, so we'll talk about our our welcoming. What we're gonna be? Our, you have um, some stuff to entertain them with. Yes, um, <laughs> we're gonna show you some magic tricks today. Um, today why? is all about magic because um, we have a magic, a light magic, a magic trick. light trick. So um, that we're going to share with you that we actually saw from Nesting Grace. Grace. Yep. Um, so give them credit. This was a really great oh. idea. But and I've been looking for this idea, not even knowing I needed this idea. And then I saw it and I was like, was that's perfect. what we've been looking for. And I even told them that when they posted that. I was like, I have been looking for this hack and didn't even know it was a hack existed. That's why you have Misty and Shannon. So um, we do all the research for you and then bring it, bring it to you. So that being said, I thought it would be really awesome to show you a really great magic trick. Have you guys met Misty Houdini? <laughs> no, no, no. This is actually Campbell Houdini, my daughter, who is probably more creative than I am. Yeah. She came down last night and said, I've got a magic trick for you. And I said, oh, great. Show How ironic. Like. We're going to need I kind of need a magic <laughs> trick. So here's her magic trick. So you see both hands. Yep. You see them? <laughs> Now I can make this towel move. I'll my feet are here, so yeah. I'm not using my feet. <laughs> I can make this towel move without my hands moving. Ooh. Can you see? <laughs> Ooh. See? I'm not even this is doing wild. anything. It's crazy, right? If you want to know how I did that, you have to make a comment and we'll tell you. You might have to find Campbell and mm -hmm. ask her. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> she actually does it way better than me. She had me in awe for a minute. I was like, how is it moving? I knew something. I knew it was a trick. What is going on that you didn't know? I love that. But crazy, crazy. So um, you want to come to our problem mm. that we have. Yes. So I have this bonus room. You want to hold up the pictures? Yes. All right. Yep. I have this bonus room. I was going to put our recap. That's okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, that's okay. We can go right in the bonus I thought you already did that <laughs> You were doing your magic trick, Misty. I thought you talked about it already. Well, last week. <laughs> All right, so I just really quick want to recap last week. Last week we were in my daughter's bathroom where we did DIY wallpaper. Um, I had so many great comments on that post, mm -hmm. and we saw so many people that were like, oh, we did that, or I wanted to try that. So if you did it and we inspired it, I, I'm telling you we must see. Yes. We add see pictures, it. add pictures, add pictures, because yes. we would love to see them. That and maybe even awesome. a video. Like, yeah. How hard was it for you? I, you're probably going to be like, it was easy. So, yeah, thank cool. you for letting us show I you love that. It. So, back to my problem. Back to Misty's about me. <laughs> Just forget the bathroom. Just bag. kidding. So, I know a lot of you may have bonus rooms. I have a bonus room, and it has been about five different types of rooms. It's been but it's always our like office, what it's it? been throw all the toys in. Um, it's been an extra bedroom. It's kind of just been the catch-all of everything. So I'm going to show you a picture, and I'll, I'll post. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Oh, it just oh. went dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's my bonus room. Typical before, bonus room. Not before. now. Let's see. Let me not go the wrong okay, way. <laughs> and there's, like, the little cubby with the desk in it. So that was the last update to this bonus room. Well, um, we kind of started thinking, my girls are getting older, they're teen getting to be teenagers, and I want them to hang out here, bring their friends. So we said, we need like a fun teen room that they can do, and I asked them, what do you want in it? Number one was bean bags. <laughs> they wanted bean bags. Big ones, said, not little ones like we had growing up. Yeah, I was like, how are we going to do that no. and not and kind of be cool? They said they wanted um, space to kind of jump around in and do their gymnastics, and they wanted an Xbox. 
So TV. We, that, but we didn't figure out how to DIY Xbox, just to be clear. I have not figured that out. So just making sure. Um, long story short, we redid this room because I also wanted it to look classy right. and not like, like some, a child's room. Like a child's room because they're growing up and they're not going to want it to be childish. Yeah. So um, we're going to show you what the bonus room looks like. But my husband, Shiplap, <laughs> we're going to talk about Shiplap later, um, the little cubby area and did a built-in built like day bed. Uh, we turned the closet into the entertainment section. I can't wait to show you. And we moved things around so we have a new kind of sectional couch. And then we've got plenty of room in the center for our bean bags. So, um, Shannon, I'm going to let you kind of take them around yeah. and with the camera. Just so pull up my phone real quick. Okay, so as we showed you that picture, I'm going to show you the before picture, and then I'm going to show you where we're sitting in that room so you guys can get an idea of what to do with that space. So I'm going to hold you up in the Do you want to go to the... Um, our corner one first. Um, yeah. You're going to okay. see our lights camera action. Yeah, don't worry. This is the real scene. Okay, so this is our before of where we are looking. Okay, so I'm going to angle it to the new after. So there we go. All right, so I don't know if you can see it, that window. Oh, there you go. All right, so in there, oops. Okay, so she did the navy walls, if you guys can see, and bought a leather couch, which leather and navy is so hot. Yes. So I'm trying to get that light to stop. Classic trend. It needs my face to not do that. Okay. But anyway, so that's that area. So she took kind of just an area and made out a seating area. And of and course, their desk. Plenty of room. Yeah. Plenty, plenty of room for bean bags or playing, et cetera. And of course, I had to add, I'm just throwing a cool little desk in here because, you know, they do have to do homework. <laughs> they don't come up here to do homework. They're She's watching crazy. videos. I know. What's your next picture? I didn't show this picture, but okay. this was a closet. So this, I'm going to try to hold it. Hold this on. This was the building. It's really hard when I'm backwards, you guys. Okay. Don't judge there me. You go. So this was just a double door closet. And we literally went in and just added the walls. We kind of lost that space on here because we didn't need it. It just added some shelves. And now we have this amazing space for that Xbox that they were asking for. And my head's like on it. I can't like lose my head anymore. Okay. And then, <laughs> all right, so here's her. So, oh, no, nope, so, oh, nope. there we go. Hold on. There okay, we go. Okay, so here is the little nook area. This is oh, one of my see. favorite little areas and the one we're going to be in today. Okay, so behind me, again, I'm trying to do There this. you go. Okay, so right now, as Perfect. you can see, it is ship lapped, total character. It's got a built in little bed area for hanging out, um, just another space to lounge. And the and white ship lap just We're still going to add a couple of things to the room. And so at the very end, we'll send some really great pictures. But we want to show off what we're going to do today. Yes. To okay. add to this area, right? Magician. Magician Misty and Shannon. All right. All right. So we are going to talk about a hack that is known as the magic light trick. So I'm going to come a little closer here. Okay. So this trick is so important because um, there's a lot of really cool rooms out there that you'll see that have gooseneck lights on the wall and i asked my husband i was like we have to do that to our house and he's like i'm not rewiring the wall so you have a gooseneck light mm -hmm. so a little research all of a sudden it popped up on nesting with the grace and i was like oh my goodness that's it so we're gonna walk you through it um for we those of you guys that, that don't there know too. all right so gooseneck lights are all the rage in the what is a gooseneck light i don't understand what that means so a gooseneck is turned and these are that gooseneck, gooseneck, gooseneck. So you can get show I'm going to show you guys another example. So these are gooseneck lights, and these look amazing when they're coming off the wall. I have them in my bathroom. Um, I just love the way that they add like. And there's so many different styles you can have. You can yeah. So Misty has the bigger version. So if you have a space that you need a lot of light in, that would be the larger gooseneck. And these run about 40, 50, sometimes up. I mean, you can go you can online. Find them. Them. You can find them pretty cheap. They're not yes. expensive. And ones. we'll link you guys a couple options just so you have them if you want to do this project. And I did want to give a, yeah that quick tip. So. Um, I, I didn't think actually seeing it, I like it, but um, I wanted to go a more bronze color and they didn't have that. Yes. Um, so I got what they had and then I'm just easily going to buy my spray paint that's already got that hammered look on it and the bronzed antique that kind of matches We're what not I have do that going. Today. We're not doing that, but you can simply spray that and then boom, you have this cool color, color. whatever color that you want. All right, so, so the next thing you want to do is build your light in. So as you know, this is wired, pre-wired, where, again, your electrician would have had to run lighting, or excuse me, electricity through your wall mm -hmm. for it to pick up here. We don't want this. This is useless to this trick. So imagine you have this light, and you don't have to do anything with this part, okay? What you have to do is in this part. 
Yay. All right, so inside, of course, is the space for your light bulb. Again, nothing to do with this part. You don't need a light bulb. You don't need this part. You're basically just using the frame of the gooseneck light, okay? What you're gonna do is purchase Velcro. Go ahead and hold up that box right there, yeah. So Misty found this Velcro. How many inches was it? Um, it usually it matches. It says it's one and seven eight inch little. So enough to fill but this. You can get hole. bigger Not strips this. as well. Yeah, you don't so need. So you're just getting little heavy disc. duty, and make sure it does say heavy duty as well. So it's a disc of Velcro, mm -hmm. double sided, of course. And then you're duty. gonna get what I didn't get. Yeah, <laughs> just so there yourself. was a little um, so mistake you here. You're gonna get puck lights. So here is an example of what a puck light is. It looks like this. Um, unfortunately, I didn't read the label last night when I was buying this. That's okay. It was totally late. my fault. Totally, um, totally not. I was looking, I was more worried about the remote control because you want the type that has a remote control. And again, we're going to link that for you so you're not confused on what to buy. So the real thing is actually coming, and yes. I can send you a picture when that comes in. But what you don't want is it for it to... <laughs> for it to say plug in you want it to be wireless that's right. the important part so we're still going to show you the trick yeah so um, let's just pretend there's no wires on here yes. and you guys will see these discs if you don't know what they're for usually people put them like under their counter in the kitchen so there's like that light that shines down on your area or like in an entertainment system whatever so and you can lights. if you don't get disc um, for velcro you can get the strips of velcro yeah um, just something nesting, that's nesting them. with rice dust um, the strips. Th they do the strips, but I grabbed these because I thought they were pretty easy. So I'm simply putting this Velcro right here. The other thing that Nesting Brace does say that we're not doing because I've got to get the different light is hot glue this on as well. You can hot glue. I can't glue. imagine it letting go. Yeah, it's, it's heavy it's duty. Fine. So, and basically you're going to put this right here. Boom. At, like this cord is. Like the cord's not there. The cord, cord is invisible right now. And so we can put this right on our wall. Really simple. Put this on our wall. And then use, and then your use remote. your remote control. And, and that's how you turn your life. Magic! And then people are going to walk in your room and be like, Ta-da! Is that what they say? Uh, ever could ever. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> so when people walk in the room and need the light, it's they're going to be like, oh, they must have wired their entire place. So this, how cute does this look too, like on the outside of the ship lap area with the bar? Hold on. Holes. So thanks to Scott Grant for pre-drilling us these holes because we couldn't have done this on our own. Not why we could have. So I'm just kidding. We could have. So she's just basically putting that into the wall, and then if you can imagine, she's gonna let it like kind of be there. I can't. I keep like losing you. You're so tall, Misty. I know. What's that like? Um. All right. So let me see if I can. My, uh, so imagine the space. You've got the window in the middle, the bed down below, the ship lamp all around, and then two lights. Then She's going to do another one on the other side, but not right now. So two lights on each side of the wall and like accent. Like, so imagine your kids sitting here reading or hanging out on this bed and they just turn on that soft light and it's so relaxing and, and it's magic. Cord would not be hanging. And the cord would not so be hanging again. Like so look how cute this is. There you go. And then we're actually going to put like a little table or a little bookshelf right underneath so the kids can read and keep their books right here or a little basket i love it i am so, so in love with that because again like who wants to rewire every time they put up a light you know, all you have to do this. is put two holes in the wall i love it and they're not even that big so now my big decision is do i paint it or do i get another one this color because i kind of like this on the wall now <laughs> let us know what you guys think so we know we have leather couches in here navy walls white ship laps so there's definitely that masculine sexy feeling here mm -hmm. So do you guys think that it looks good gray or like that silver color? Or do you think it would look better if we did the antique bronze? So next Let us week, know. We'll do a poll. Yeah, we'll post the picture <laughs> when we're done so you guys can get an idea of what we did and how it looks. I love so, it. yay. I love so what do you guys think? Is not that magic? Magic! <laughs> Sorry, you guys. We're moving oh, around. We're moving you. We're not trying Our to producer this. over here. Nice little producer. Hi, you guys. I'm reading all the comments now. Good morning, everyone. Aww. Oh, thanks, Tony. You like that? Maybe Joanna Gaines <laughs> is watching. If she is, I mean, hi, Joanna. Joanna, we can do some work together. I'm just we can ship one, right? 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 I love it. Uh, all right. So cool. All right. So that was that hack. So we're, we're going to also, just because we have, I have a lot of ship lap in my house. Um, and I we're going to post some pictures here. Here we go. And we'll let you pull up the pictures. Thanks. Ship lap, it, obviously, you've got the shirt on. Joanna Gaines has really made that a huge, huge just trend. trend. Like, it's been a huge decor. trend. Um, and it's not limited. But what I love about it, I and I, I've got examples of this, 
you can have your shiplap look completely different in every space. It doesn't always have to look the same. So in this room, what you saw, um, we did wider planks and we painted it a glossy white. And that's kind I of what you, you yeah. love, a glossy Mine white. Mine are all glossy right. in my house. I um, love it. In our studios, we do a gray, a gray wash. wash. Yeah. Um, you can also do different color planks. So you can show them an example. This one is above my bed. So you can kind of see a picture where I've stained it different colors and I've got like a, almost like a, a framed headboard type. Now keep in mind, you would do this each individual piece before you put it up. Otherwise, and then come up with your you don't want to like tape it off. So, so you would like, yeah. And so, then, and then in my living room, I have a wash. So this is just like, like a soft white to kind of balance mm -hmm. that white farm that she has going. So this is uh, Misty's living room. If you guys ever want to see more pictures on these or any pictures we're showing or tutorials or before and afters, mm -hmm. we can post those anytime. We can have on so. tours. I can yeah. sell tickets and do yeah. tours of the house. We'll do like, like a we winter <laughs> tour. <laughs> that would actually be really fun. That would be really <laughs> funny if we were live. Like but hours. they need to come during Christmas when I have all yeah. my Christmas. And they won't see your ship lamp. I know, right? I have it too much. So, <laughs> yeah, you guys are totally into the whole shiplap craze, too. We are going to, I mean, any questions you have, we've done it so many times, and it's not expensive. Definitely. We figured out a really good hack, and we'll tell you guys about that, too, if you want. So. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So, um, next week, mm. I want to tell, um, this, so we're going to do this in yours, or we're going to do this in my, my bathroom? I mean, we don't know. We're doing it in someone's, doing someone's bathroom. bathroom. We are going to um, stencil tile yes and this is like all over pinterest right now and like when i said and it you've done husband, this on your um on your uh, fireplace. fireplace yeah so like, you know how there's like amazing. a travertine tile and it was like the generic builder grade color and every time i looked at it i hated it so i figured out a way to paint it and stencil it and do like a pattern obviously looking at it up close you would know but with floor tiles they sell the stencils made in the size of your tile mm -hmm. so if you have like 12 inch tile floors and they're builder grade and they're brown this is the show you want to tune into yes. because I can't look at another brown tile. No, in the and I am sick of my tile, so um, I'm, yeah. I'm more than willing to test this. Yes. Again and there's day. some really good <laughs> steps to like try it and make sure it works. So either way, we're gonna we're, we're gonna play with we're this doing next it. week, and we're gonna do it. So Nobody we're wants gonna put a tile. It, we're gonna put the, all of these DIY hacks into um, action. Yes. That's that's what the show is all about. It is really about showing you can you really nail it. <laughs> can you nail your life with yes the yes channel? yes you can I love that if anyone has ever done painting your tiles too let me know and before next week um get excited yeah. go online and look because there are so many cool ways to do it and we are like super thrilled to show it to you guys I love it so oh, it's it. easy it's not bad so I had this crazy idea last night that I feel like we need to give them like a DIY inspirational quote because I did this, like I know this was, does not seem like my kind of idea. Maybe we could get on a shirt totally every week. Maybe your shirt every week could be your quote. Oh, I could. That would be. Cute. I know someone who can make you a shirt. Mm. Well, okay. So um, here was my quote of the week, um, and this was totally inspired by you because you like all the inspirational <laughs> quote stuff. <laughs> I'm the Rachel Hollis of the group. You are. You are. <laughs> um, so I saw this quote and I thought that the, this really stands for what we are create the things you wish existed. I can't always go and buy the thing that I want to buy or hire the person to do the thing that, so we do it. And that's why we got into I this business. It. Create the things you wish existed. And, and that is exactly way. also what people do when they come to our studios. They sit Boom. down <laughs> and they create something that they know they're like, wait a minute, that is awesome. I would love a sign like that. Or I would love a project like that in my home. And then we create it with you and nailed the DIY studios. Mm -hmm. And you just created something you wish existed. I love it. I love it too. I think it's like awesome. So if you guys have ever been to the studio and you can attest to the fact that you will create something that you wish existed, it will be beautiful and you will be proud. That is what we are in this business for. That's it. That's it. And we're, we're here to get we'll you. Make sure you go home with something perfect. Create that DIY movement. I love it. We're just going to drive the train. You guys have on. I love it. I love it. So where can they follow us? All right. So you guys need to make sure you are following us on Facebook. Of course, Nailed It DIY Studio on Facebook, as well as Nailed It DIY Crew. Our crew is our insider blog, as well as our closed Facebook group. You can be a part of. And what you can do there is learn more about tips and tricks and trends and ways to get your home feeling like home and feeling like something you There's wish you There's a lot had. of good tips. Um, Amy posts oh, a lot on there. That amazing. Is pretty amazing. Um, and just what's coming next in trends and homes. Yeah. So. And I think she just did a post about painting tiles. Ooh. So that might get you inspired. So if you're not on the crew, 
join it now so she can start getting inspired. And if you are not local to us, we have franchises popping up everywhere. We are now um, in six states I know. that we've officially so announced. Find your studio and like their page as well. So um, that's important that you find your local studio and find their page and follow them because they have a lot of action going yes. on within their studios as well. And so. if you guys are near a local studio, tell us what studio you're near because we want to see where we're pulling from and where you guys are around the country because then we can tell you when our studio is coming to your town. I love it. We don't just make announcements. I love it. No, we I try love to it. Do it. We try to do it good so that you guys get excited. All right, so we are, um, next week again, we're talking about painting, painting tiles mm -hmm. on your floor. Um, today, if you guys are just tuning in, we did a gooseneck tutorial on magic, magic light, light tricks. tricks. <laughs> and we are going to go ahead and post all those tips below and all the links that you need to do that for yourself. So love it. Tune Good in job. next week at 10 o'clock on Friday, right here on Nailed It DIY okay. Studio Facebook. And share this with, um, share the post. The post. I was going to say the video. The video. Um, yeah. Share the video, share the post um, with your friends or share our website, share our page. Yes. Um, let your friends know everywhere that two crazy girls are on Coming and showing house. lots of great tips. So <laughs> uh, we want everybody that can to be on. Yes. All so right. happy ship lap. Happy Friday. All right. We'll see you guys later. Have Bye. a good day. Bye.